besar Seiyu aku Jesus Seiyu aku Jesus Somebody help me sing and say he's good, come on Psalm 50 verse 5, it said, gather my saints together. Gather my saints together. Gather them together unto me. Gather the saints of God together unto me. Those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Those that have established a covenant by sacrifice. And unto the Lord we gather this morning. And unto him shall this gathering continue to be. Ooh. Unto the Lord you and I have gathered on the altar. And unto him shall our gathering remain. Let's come together with praise, with singing, with dancing. Let's rise up from the depression news, from the news of wailing and all of the evil. Coming together this morning with a dance and a praise offering. Let's raise our voice together at sense of God reporting on duty on this altar of prayer. Father, we are here. We are here again. Father, we are here again this morning. We are here again, oh God. Amen. We are here in singing. We are here in worship. We are here, oh God. As sent unto you, we gather in the name of Jesus. Let's open Amen. our mouth this morning and Amen. declare, I am here. I am here. You Amen. are here. We are here together. Unto the Lord shall this gathering be. Amen. Unto our Father, Amen. we are gathered. Father, we gather unto you this morning. Amen. And unto you alone, this Amen. gathering remain in the name of Jesus. Amen. We gather unto you. We gather unto you, Lord God. God. Our gathering is unto you and you alone. Our gathering is unto you, Lord Jehovah. Unto you, Father, we gather. Unto you, we gather. Unto you, we gather. In the name of Jesus, he said, gather my saints together unto me. Gather the saints of God together unto me. Those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Father, we come unto you. And unto you, our gathering remains. Men. Unto you, our gathering be. Unto you alone, Lord God, we gather. Unto you alone, Father in heaven, we gather. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. Man of God, you are welcome this morning. Brethren, you are welcome. Brother Warren, you are welcome. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sister Olga, you are welcome. Hallelujah. 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 Beloved, Amen. we are, we were, we were. The month of May has been declared the month of spiritual warfare. And so we declare that we war. There is a war going on. When you look around you closely, around your community, around your state, around your nation, you will either hear rumors of war or you will actually see real war. You will actually see real war. You and I, as the priest, 
coming on the altar, we are called to stand and wail. We are called to stand in the gap. We are called to, to, to cry out before our Father. You and I have an assignment and a duty this morning to raise up our voice unto the Lord. I will want us quickly, brethren, to reference uh, the book of Joel. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. The book of Joel chapter 2. Hallelujah. Joel chapter 2, verse 17. It said, let the priest, let the priests, the ministers of the Lord, weep between the pouch and the altar. Let them say, spare thy people. Spare thy people, O Lord, and give not thy inheritance to reproach that the hidden should rule over them. Wherefore we say among the people, wherefore the saying we go among the people, where is their God? Where is their God? Beloved, because you and I cannot stand the shame and the reproach of people asking us, where is the God you call upon daily? Where is that God that you cry to? And so we come, as we are called this morning, to say, Lord, we are here on behalf of our family. We are here on behalf of your people. We are here as ministers on behalf of our willing community on behalf of mothers that refuse to be comforted, on behalf of sons that are rebellious and they are in rioting, on behalf of the distress in our community. Father, we come to the altar this morning to raise our voices together on behalf of men and women, parents, children, wailing and weeping in our community. Father, we come to your throne to pray because because your word says that if we pray that there will be answer, there will be solution. You say ask. And so, Father, we come to ask for your divine intervention into the chaos in our community. We mm -hmm. come to ask for your divine intervention into the unsettlement on our community. We come to ask for your divine intervention into the rioting in our community. We come to ask for God intervention. Let's open our mouth, beloved, and say, Lord, intervene. Do not mm -hmm. leave us to the will of our enemy. Father, intervene. Do not leave us. Do not leave us. Do not leave us to this reproach. Father, intervene. Jehovah God, intervene. 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 Father, we cry out to you for your divine intervention. Intervene, O Lord God. Consigning the chaos. Consigning the chaos. Consigning the chaos in our community. Father, intervene. Consigning the distress, consigning the distress in our neighborhood, Father, intervene. Consigning the death, consigning the sudden killing, Father, intervene. Consigning the evil report, Father, we report on duty this morning and let the Lord intervene, intervene, intervene. Father, fight for us. Fight for us, O God. Fight for us, Lord Jehovah. Fight for us, Almighty Father. Intervene, intervene, Lord God. Intervene, intervene, Lord Jehovah. On behalf of the people, on behalf of the fatherless, on behalf of those who have been made childless. Father, intervene. On behalf of those who have been made childless. Father, intervene. On behalf of those who have been made childless. Father, intervene on behalf of family that have been made childless. Jehovah God, intervene in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. He said, let the priests, 
weep between the altars. If there be any sin, if there be any sin, the Bible said that he that is born of God, sin not. Amen. He that is born of God, sin not. And all have sinned and fallen short. That the Lord release you or me not to reproach. Not to this reproach of our time. And so we cry out to the Lord today to pardon our error and mistakes. That we have made true policies. Father, pardon our errors and mistakes that we have made true policies. Father, pardon the error and the mistakes of our leaders through policies. Father, pardon the errors and the mistakes of our leaders, political leaders, financial leaders, errors and mistakes that have been made. Father, we ask for the pardon. Pardon our errors. Pardon our mistakes. Pardon, pardon the our errors mistakes. and the mistakes that have pardon been made our by our pardon leaders. Our Father, mistakes. we come on the altar pardon this morning errors. and we say, Lord, pardon, Jesus. pardon, pardon our, our errors. Pardon our, our mistakes. Pardon, pardon our, our errors and mistakes yes, that, that we have we made through decisions, through policies, through decisions and policies in the name of Jesus. Pardon the mistakes, mistakes, mistakes of the church. Lord God. Pardon, Pardon the mistakes, mistakes of the church. Pardon the mistakes, Lord God. The mistakes Pardon of the church of the saints of God. Your mistake and my mistake, Father. In the name of Jesus, Father, pardon our mistakes, Father. In the name of Jesus, we come on the altar this morning, Lord, to cry, pardon our mistakes, pardon our error, Lord God, our mistakes that we've made. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we love, we walk. We fight, we wrestle, not against flesh, not against blood. Look at the question here. That the heathens will not gather to ask, where is your God? Where is their God? Have your God failed you, beloved? No. Have your God failed you? No. no. Oh. He has never failed and he will not start with you or start with me. Hallelujah. Amen. He never failed. He never failed and he's not starting with you. He's not starting with me. Hallelujah. Amen. This is our confidence that he never failed. He never failed. From the beginning, as we were reminded yesterday, that it's a fixed fight. The victory has already been declared for you and me. And so we go to this war, to this battle, we're confident that we are winners. We are winners. And so today we'll be dwelling on the book of Ephesians chapter 6. In this book, we are told to put on the whole armor of God. We are told to prepare our mind, our body, and to put ourselves in a position to win. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. He said, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the ways of the devils. All the wise of the devil, all the strategies, all the weapons of the enemy, you and I have been prepared by the scriptures to put on the entire armor and to stand with the confidence that this fight is, you are already been declared a winner. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, you and Lord, I have yes. already, you have already been declared a winner. I don't care if it's the marital yes. battle, yes. if it is health issues, if it is financial challenge, if it is a children issue, 
you and I are already a winner in the name of Jesus. Amen. You and I are already a winner in the yes, name of Jesus. Jesus. Put on courage this morning. Put on courage this morning. Begin to declare, I put on courage. I put on courage. I put on courage because I am a winner already. I put on strength. I am a winner already. I put on the garment of praise. I am a winner already. I put on the garment of praise. I am a winner already. I am a winner. Already. I am a winner. I am already. A winner. You I am are a winner. winner. We are a winner. winner. You have been winner. declared a winner. He said, put on the whole armor of God. Put on the whole armor of the word of God. You and I are putting on the armor of confidence. Yes, I put yes. on the armor of courage and confidence that yes. indeed I am a champion. I am a winner. We love, let's open our mouth and begin to put on the whole armor. The armor of the Lord is the word of God that you and I put on. Yes, Jesus. It is the word of God that we put on. It is the word of God that is on your inside and my inside. This is the whole armor of God. As you put it on, beloved, even as this efficient is saying to us, that you will be able to withstand all the strategies of the devil. You will be able to, to, to overcome all the plans of your enemy and my enemy. All the plans of the enemy of the righteous. We will be able to stand. Hallelujah. He said, put on Amen. courage. Put on courage. Put on courage. Put on the armor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. We Hallelujah. all know this armor. Amen. And I want us to just quickly go through them as we are putting them on right now on this altar as we are putting them on for today because the the, the topic of today say we war we war <laughs> wherefore take unto you the whole armor of god that he may be able to withstand mm -hmm. in the evil day that you and i be able to withstand the evil day Having done this to stand, the Bible keep repeating that word, stand, stand, stand. It's a position that you and I maintain when we are watching and we are war. It says stand, put on this armor and stand. There are places where there was, the Bible will say rest. There are places and occasions the Bible will say sit. But right now he's telling you and I to stand, to put on the armor and to stand. Father, this morning we come on the altar putting on the armor and we stand to declare that we are protected by this same armor. We Amen. are protected. Our household Amen. is protected Amen. by this Amen. same armor. Amen. We are protected Amen. by this armor. Yes, we are Jesus. protected by this I armor. I am protected. My household is protected by this same armor. We are 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 protected by this same armor. I am protected. My household is protected. The church of God is protected. The men of God, God, they are protected. The, the women Jesus. of God, they are protected. Our sons and daughters are protected. Our ministers are protected. Our communities under divine protection by reason of this armor. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Beloved in Christ. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. We fight not against flesh and blood. We wrestle, we fight not against ourselves. A child is misbehaving, it's not that child. A wife is misbehaving against the husband, it's not that wife. We wrestle not, we fight not, we argue not against ourselves. Then who is our enemy? Who are we fighting with? Who? The Bible says against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. 
in high places. A young lady was testifying. In the physical realm, she was getting so big. She was eating all manner of junk. The mother, that is the only child. The mother is so worried, crazy, doing everything possible. Nothing was happening. They entered into fasting and prayer, beloved, and God opened their eyes to see. In their dream, in their spirit, they were feeding the child with garbage. Mm -mm -mm. Literally feeding her with trash, garbage. Right. In the dream. Mm -hmm. When she wakes up, she don't remember the dream. And she keep craving all this junk that she ought not to be eating until her blood sugar rose to 400 and something. Mm -mm -mm. She was almost dying. It was through the power of prayer and the word of God that opened their spiritual eyes to I see, mean. to see what was really behind the decisions this child was making. Oh, holy God, holy God, yeah. Jesus. Yeah. It was through prayer and fasting the Lord opened their eyes to see what was happening in her spirit. Yeah. And beloved, when we come before the Lord, he said, put on the whole armor, the word of God, that our fight is not in the physical. There is a spirit that sponsors that wickedness. That spirit is what you and I come on the altar to raise the weapon of the word of God against that spirit. Every spirit responsible for that damage in your life, every spirit responsible for that delay, let's lift of the weapon of war against that spirit that is responsible for the delay that is responsible for the damage that is responsible for that thing that is operating right now beloved let's open our mouth we come against you second the devil with all your wicked evil spirit that are sponsoring this delay that are sponsoring the delay in my life that are sponsoring the delay in my home that are sponsoring the delay in our autumn we come against you in the name of Jesus every power every power sponsoring the delay every power sponsoring the delay every power sponsoring the delay in my life receive the stone of fire now 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 Every power, every power, sponsoring the delay, sponsoring the delay, when we refer to our daily word, this book, this devotional book, it says the emergence of prayer book have greatly affected believers. The rising up of prayer books have greatly affected believers, especially in Africa and those in diaspora. They took the deliverance from the battlefield of the mermaid infested water, evil foul saturated air, 
to prayer books. Deliverance is now conducted through prayer books. How deceptive this is. The prayer book ought to be a help, ought to be, it, it does not substitute for your altar and my altar. It does not replace your actual prayer being made by the help of the Holy Spirit. It does not eliminate you and I coming before the Lord and allowing the Spirit of God to flow through us. Just like what we have in our hands right now, this daily devotional, it does not, it does not take over. Is a help, is a God. And so, beloved, we must continue to maintain that battle line, that battle line. Where an altar have been erected, where the evil mind have been manipulating people's <laughs> destiny, where there is envy and jealousy, and as a result of envy and jealousy, it creates darkness in the minds of people that rises up against you and against me to battle. And you and I, as we know this, the Bible says, put on the whole armor of God. Put on the whole armor yeah. of God that you and I will stand against this spiritual wickedness that are operating in high places. It is the spiritual wickedness that we stand against. As we put on this whole armor and say that of a truth, your destiny, my destiny, our children's destiny must be fulfilled in the land of the living. Jesus made a prayer. Father, let your will be done on earth as it is done in heaven. Let your will come to earth. Let you and I stand to fulfill our God-given mandate and vision. Mm -hmm. And so yesterday, our sister reminded us that our mission is to enforce the will of God. Mm -hmm. Our mission is to ensure that whatever Jesus died for you and I to have, that those things are established. Hallelujah. Amen. It is not spiritual warfare until we confront the real enemy. Amen. Until we confront the real enemy. The real enemy, Satan, the devil, and all the fallen hosts of, 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 of his kingdom. The real enemy. The real enemy. So your weapon and my weapon should not be used on the, uh, 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 on the wrong people. So we're going to take this prayer. Father, help me to focus my weapon on the real enemy. Yes, Lord. Father, help us to focus our weapon on the real enemy. Jehovah, help us to focus our weapon on the real enemy. The real enemy. The real enemy. Help us, help us, Lord God, in the place of prayer that we focus our weapon on the real enemy. The real enemy confronting us, the real enemy harassing us, the real enemy fighting us. Father, help us, oh Lord God, to focus our weapon on the real enemy in the name of Jesus. Let's open our mouth and pray. Your weapon on the real enemy. Your weapon on the real enemy. It is a spiritual fight. It is a war in the realm of the spirit. It is a war that comes to this, to divide. Father, empower us, O oh God, to focus our weapon on the real enemy. Focus on the real enemy. In the name of Jesus. These principalities and powers that are operating in the dream, that are operating through dreams, that are operating through dreams, that are operating through dreams, they come in the spirit mind. They break it, Father, help us to focus our 
our weapons, on the real enemies, the real enemies of your progress, the real enemies of your family, the real enemies of your advancement, is those principalities, those powers that come in the night, that come in the dream, that come to harass your mind. So they will raise up the weapon of the world against their territory, against their gathering, in the name of Jesus. Begin to tear it down, tear it down, tear it down, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Hallelujah. Beloved, in the story we read yesterday, we saw how young Cho, how he went in the realm of the spirit to claim the victory. To claim the victory. You and I, beloved, must use our weapon in that same manner. Hallelujah. Amen. We must use our weapon in that same manner. Declaring, Lord, let my spiritual eyes be open. Yes. When you give me visions and dreams, give me the understanding that I may know how to navigate my way in the real life, in the name of Jesus. Amen. That you and I may obtain the right result in the name of Jesus. Amen. These principalities and powers operating through religion, operating through deception, operating through uh, 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 physical uh, gifts, operating through hand touch, operating through enemies. It is only when your spiritual eyes and my spiritual eyes are open that we can see what we fight against. What we are fighting again. He said we fight all sorts of spirit. Some are demonic spirit. Some are serpentine spirit from the rivers. Some are marine spirit. Some are real human wicked spirit. There are real human wicked spirit. Yes. A human being that the spirit is so wicked. And all the desire is to hold you and hold me in captivity. Mm-hmm. So they can take advantage of you and me. And so this morning, as we stand on this altar, as a priest over your family, over the household, over your community, over your church, let's open our mouth and say this enemy will not win. They will not triumph. Let's open our mouth and begin to reclaim. Begin to claim back. Begin to reclaim what has been stolen from you. What has been from me. Let's stand and begin to reclaim it. Let's stand and begin to reclaim. Let's to reclaim. Begin to reclaim. It's not me. It's not me. You cannot win. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of every human witches, every human witches, every human wicked spirit taking your name taking my name taking the names of members of our congregation to any evil altar to any evil altar let's raise the fire of god upon those human witches 
Let's raise the fire of God upon those human wicked spirits that are engaged in taking your name and my name to evil altar. Every human spirit, every wicked demonic spirit, every witchcraft spirit, taking your name and my name, taking the names of members of our family, of any evil altar. Father, we raise up the banner of fire. We raise up the banner of fire against those operations against those evil operation in the name of Jesus. <laughs> The Bible says, Stand therefore, having your loins guard with the truth and having the breastplate of righteousness. The truth that you and I are exposed to is the word of God. And that we use to guide ourselves. And in the name of Jesus this morning, we are going to the territory of the enemy. Uh, we are no. going to the enemy domain. We are going to the marine world through your prayer and my prayer. And we are going to release everyone they have chained down in their domain, wherever they have chained them down in their prison gates, in the realm of the spirit, wherever they have chained your bank account, they have chained your idea down, they have chained your business down, we are going to their territory right now to break open. Visible and invisible chains, we are breaking them open. We are breaking them loose. We break them loose. We break them loose. We break them loose. We break them loose. We go to the camp of the enemy and not running go to the camp of the enemy break loose the chains we break loose the mind we break loose the prison ones that they have in prison we break them loose this morning we release them from those holds we release them from those barricades we release them from the visible and the invisible chains we break, it. We break them loose we break our destiny loose. We break our mind loose. We break our advancement loose. From visible and invisible change. In the name of Jesus. Release yourself, beloved. Release yourself. Release members of your household from that behavior. Release members of your family from that behavior. Release the mind from that wicked evil thought and manipulation. We release ourselves. We set ourselves loose from every hole, every imprisonment. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Beloved, when we say we fight not against ourselves, a sister was in a dream. She was a worker in the church. She was in a dream. And in this dream, she was summoned to a court hearing. Physically, beloved, she had no issue that is in the court. But in the dream, she was summoned in a hearing. And what was the issue? It was the work she's doing in the church. And she's wondering, how did I get here? She was surprised to see this particular sister that was accusing her. And in that realm of the spirit, we bless the Lord that she was free of every accusation. Amen. Amen. She was set free from every accusation. The Bible said there is he who accused the brethren both day and night. <laughs> Yes. The accuser of the brethren. Somebody is accusing you somewhere without you even knowing. Mm. Somebody is accusing me somewhere without me even knowing. Mm. 
and it may not be in the physical realm beloved in the realm of the spirit every judgment that has been passed against you and against me today let's issue a higher power that sets you free yes, from every judgment in the spirit realm from every judgment against you against your household against your family against you as you walk on the altar of god every judgment in the realm of the spirit that have been issued against you Father, we declare those judgments nullified. We declare them cancelled. We declare them cancelled. We declare those judgments cancelled. We declare those judgments cancelled. We declare the judgment cancelled. In the name of Jesus, we cancel that judgment now. We cancel that judgment now. The judgment that is against you and against me. The judgment that is against you and against me. We cancel the judgment now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When we release many stars that are buried in the marine world, that are buried in the coven, people are locked down. There are many, many, many houses, many uh, material wet that are locked down. Sometimes when God opened your eyes and my eyes and we dreams and you see storehouse or warehouses, warehouses in dreams, that are under lock and key. You wonder who are the owners of these warehouses? Who are the owners of this property, of this wet? Why are they locked up in all of this place? So when we pray, beloved, we pray to release those are locations that have had your name on them. Those warehouses, those provisions that the Lord God of heaven has provided for you in the realm of the spirit, and we transport it through your prayer and my prayer to manifest in the physical realm. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Ah, somebody is receiving this morning. Oh. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Those words, those riches that have your name written on them, those yes. provisions that the Father has provided that are locked up, we transport them to the physical realm. Yeah, we move them from the realm of the spirit. We move them from the realm of dreams. We move them from the air, from the water. We move them to manifest in the natural we move them to manifest in our home. Those, those riches, those provisions, in the name of Jesus, let's open our mouth and, and begin to claim them. Begin to move them. By the power of your prayer and my prayer, begin to move them. Begin to transport them to manifest in the earth realm. In the name of Jesus. Oh, we relocate them. We relocate them in the name of Jesus. We move them in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We move them to the earth realm. We move them, we move them to the earth realm. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Your faith, your faith and my faith, beloved, it's not just the reading of the word. Remember the Bible said the letter kill it. Yes. It is the spirit that gives life to the world. Mm. We cannot separate the word of God from the spirit of God. So yes, when God. you and I have dreams and you say, well, it's just men dream. It was just a dream. No, it is good for us to pay careful attention to our dreams. Hallelujah. Amen. It is good for you and I to pay attention to our dreams. The Bible says when men slept, God will issue 
a, a, a verdict. God will speak to man even through dreams. He will show you things that are to come. So when you see those things, you wake up and engage in warfare and begin to claim that which belongs to you and to the territory you watch over as a watchman. Hallelujah. Amen. And begin to watch over your family as the priest of that family. Hallelujah. Amen. Do not just commonize the dream and say it's a common dream. No. You know that the Lord has spoken to you through the word of God, through his spirit and through dreams. And so we take up the prayer point and begin to release all the host of the army. Say, put on the whole armor. And haven't done this, take your stand. Take your stand against every evil occurrence in your life, against every evil things happening around your community. Take your stand through the power of prayer and begin to turn things around through the power of your prayer and my prayer. Begin to turn decisions around. We begin to turn situations around as we take our stand in prayer. As we take our stand in prayer. And against every evil occurrence. And against every evil occurrence. Stand against that evil occurrence. We stand against every evil we reverse their decision. <laughs> In the name of Jesus. Beloved, when Lazarus died, we know the sisters had already sent to Jesus to come. And say, Lazarus, your beloved is sick. The Bible said Jesus tarried until Lazarus slept. And then Jesus showed up. Yes. Are you saying this morning my case is already it's already on a state that it cannot be changed? Are you saying to yourself my situation is so worse right now? I don't see how things can turn. I want you, I want both you and I to remember Lazarus, who was already dead and buried, whose body was already stinking. Yet he was brought back to life. Amen. I said there is a reversal of that war situation in your life and my Amen. life this morning in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. There is a resurrection for you and me this morning in the name of Jesus. There is a resurrection for you and me this morning in the name of Jesus. A resurrection. There is a resurrection. There is a resurrection for you and me. Beloved, let us quickly read from the book of John chapter 11 and verse 39. Jesus said, take away the stone. Jesus said, take away the stone. Here we refer to this stone as unbelief. We refer to this stone as it cannot be undone. Is there a stone of doubt in you and me this morning? Dead man can rise. This is man that have been dead four days. 
a situation that have already been decided that there is no way the Lord will make a way for somebody this morning that believe. For anyone of us that dare to believe God for the impossible. He said, take away the stone. Take away the stone. Take away the stone. Yes, this situation is thinking. Yes, this situation has already been, they have never seen the type. If Peter can walk on top of water, Hallelujah. that which he has never ever done before. Yes. If Peter can take a step of faith and begin to walk on water, yes. you and I can do the impossible today in the name of Jesus. In the name of, in the Jesus. Name of Jesus. That which is never done can be done for you and me in the name of Jesus. That which has never been done can be done for you and me in the name of Jesus. For those in our household, for those in our family, for those around us in our community, as we stand in the place of prayer, just take away doubt, take away the stone of doubt, take away the stone of unbelief, and say, Lord, I believe it is possible. It is possible for this case to be reversed. It is possible for me to be a winner. It is possible for me to be an overcomer. It is possible for me to sing the song of joy. It is possible for me to have my testimony. It is possible, it is possible. For we run not against ourselves, against principalities, against powers. It is possible for the dead to rise again. It is possible for good news to spring up again. Can anything good come out of Nazareth? It is possible for your Nazareth to spring up with good news. It is possible for my Nazareth to come up with good report. It is possible. That decision can be reversed. It is possible. <laughs> that solution has come. It is possible. Something good is rising up in the name of Jesus. Something good is rising from you and from me in the name of Jesus. Something miraculous is coming in the name of Jesus. Take away the stone. And that which was there. In verse 44, he says, And he that was dead, he that was dead came forth. He that was dead came forth. We fight not against ourselves. With the hands and feet bound and with great clothes and his face bound. They bowed with a knocking. Jesus said unto him, lose him. Say it unto them, lose him and let him go. Yes. Ah, today there is a declaration over your life and destiny. Lose yes. him, let him go. Yes. Lose her, let him go. Yes. Yes. Lose yes. him, yes. let him go. Lose her, let him go. Lose, lose, lose from that marine kingdom. Lose from that water spirit. Lose and let him go. Lose him, let him go. Lose him. Let him go. This is the time of losing. Losing, lose her, lose them, let them go. In the name of our Lord Jesus, higher than every other name. In Jesus' mighty name. Name, we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Beloved, we are going to declare our confessional statement. You know, when we come on the altar, we have so many prayer points, we have so many references, but many a times, depending on how the spirit leads, we don't always complete all of our preparation. 
But this is just a leading for us to take over the day. This is just the beginning for you and me to take over the day. So let us not stop. We are praying for mothers that have lost their children to this shooting we are praying for new laws to be put in place we are praying for our nation we are praying for our state we are praying for our household and so you and i we know we are on the battlefield so draw souls out of the darkness onto the right standing with god hallelujah and so we are declaring our confessional statement this morning we are confessing it together. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That at the name of name Jesus, of Jesus. every knee should bow. bow. Of things, of in, things heaven. in heaven and, and of things on earth, in earth and, and things under, and it. under the earth. The earth. In the name of Jesus, Father, we declare that every knee bow, every knee bow, of things on earth, of things in heaven, and things underneath the earth, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we have put on our armor of Jesus. We are covered with our helmet of salvation. We are covered with our breastplate of righteousness. We are covered with our shield of faith. We are covered with the sword of faith. We are covered now. We are covered. We are covered. We are covered. We are covered. We bless God. We bless God. Thank God for the weapons of our warfare. We thank God that we are covered in the name of Jesus. We thank God that our helmet has been given our heads safe. Thank God for our breastplate of righteousness that given our heart safe. We thank God that we can fight. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Um, I'm going to just share, um, greet everyone that I can see on the altar this morning, and then we are going to just share a few announcements. Um, that we're not those that we were not able to greet this morning, but uh, Claude, we say good morning, man of God. Good, good morning, Minister. Good morning. Good morning, good morning Sister yeah. Ming. I heard you praying. You were praying very powerfully. Good morning. Sister Olga, good morning. Good morning, Minister Obi uh, and everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And Vangelis Brahma. I know we greeted you this morning. You were here early. <laughs> yes, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Sister Christine, good morning. Our Lady in Red, Sister Kelly, good morning. Sister Mud, good morning. Please, if you can unmute yourself, please do. Pastor Ishfak, man of God, good morning. Brother very, Warren. Very good morning. Very, very good morning, all of you. Good morning. Good morning. Have a blessed day. As well. Brother Warren, good morning. Mama Angelica, I just heard your voice. Is she here? I didn't see her. I thought I heard her voice. And then we have our guest all the way from South Africa, Sister Elita. Good morning. We heard your voice earlier on this Good morning. Good morning. 
Bless you. Sister Lita, can you say good morning to the people of God? And Sister Giri, good. I mean, Brother Giri, sorry about that. Brother Giri, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, I believe those, if I missed you, please forgive me. Sister Joyce. I'm so sorry. Good morning. I just saw you. Good morning. Good morning. God bless you, sister. Good morning. Minister good morning. Obi, good morning. Good morning. God bless you. God bless you. Mama Zena, good morning. Okay. Those are the only ones I see. Please, if I miss you, forgive me. Forgive me. Ma Minister Osas, we greeted you this morning. Man of God. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, I'm just going to share a few announcements. I want us to today is Thursday next week on Tuesday on Turning Point. Pastor Mark is going to be continuing with the number one secret of wealth. Um, he started last week and he was not able to finish. So hopefully he will be able to hear the rest of it this Tuesday. We are asking that we come one and come all with us. We've been hearing about evangelism, weapon to evangelize and get people to understand the gospel. Amen. 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 And Amen. then on Wednesday is our um, fasting day that we did yesterday. Um, we are going to be doing it again next week. I'm emphasizing that please bring your prayer points on the altar. We are fasting on Wednesday. We want to take our fasting seriously. We fast from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. And we pray three times that day. So I want us to be able to bring our prayers to the altar so we can pray and intercede for our brethren, intercede for our communities, intercede about what's going on in our world. Amen. 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 So let me just share the grace in fellowship and we can dismiss for the day. The grace, yes, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, Christ. 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 the love of God, God. and the sweet fellowship of, of the Holy Spirit, Spirit. Spirit. and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and I have shall be in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. 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 Good morning, everybody. Let us go Good out morning, there and take authority Good over morning. our day. Amen. Let's go out there and live victoriously in the name of Jesus. Let us go Amen. I have resurrection power. Yes, I do. Still the miracle that I just can't get over. My name is registered. Sons and daughters Fought with blood and washed in water
Beyonce. Maybe you don't have all the material things and every opportunity that you think you should have, but you have Jesus. And if you have Jesus, you have hope. If you have Jesus, you have joy. If you have Jesus, you have peace. If you have Jesus, you have forgiveness. Salvation.